All right, day uh, everyone. Good evening. It's Friday the third of November. I think it's Friday the third of November. And tonight we're going to try and tackle the two resistors. Sorry, not resistors, capacitors, which are behind these uh, two audio jacks. Now, first I've got to take the audio jacks off because there's no way I'm going to go in, get in there otherwise. So that's the first um, step. Now there's three pins holding each of those audio jacks in place. So they need to be uh, desoldered first. So we'll try and do that. Right, so. Uh, right. Let's hope this goes a bit smoother than the uh, the last resistor, because the last resistor was a disaster. I don't mean resistor, I mean capacitor. Think about what you're seeing, God's sake. Now I don't know why, but I think it's just something to do with how the um, Heat is transferred, but if you've got a little bit of solder on your soldering, Oof. soldering iron, it seems to transfer the heat into the old solder a lot easier. Now there will be a very good reason for that, but you need to take a degree in mechanical engineering to understand it. Which, let's face it, a lot of us don't have the time to do because we're too busy trying to survive. I'm also going to try and do this a little bit quicker than I did the last. A capacitor. It just took too long. Sometimes luck is with you and sometimes it isn't. It all depends. <laughs> this takes me back to my apprenticeship days. Not that I did a whole lot of soldering in my apprenticeship, but we did three months of electrical and instrumentation. Which is not a lot, and I've likely forgotten most of what I learnt back then.
See, I think this is quite a frustrating bloody job, this. Sorry for my hand, folks. Okay, I've got that broken. I've got this one here to do yet. I don't know if you're seeing that. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So I've got these two pins freed. You can see them wiggling there. But this one's still a bit stuck. Still too much solder on it. Just put a little bit of solder and use fresh solder on my soldering iron again. It's sod's law, there's always got to be one that's going to be difficult. Rarely can you get every nut or every bolt out without one being awkward. It's a fact of life, it must be a, a rule in nature, eh? There must be a mathematical explanation for it. Would have helped if I'd been trying to desolder the right pin, of course. <sighs> okay. This is going to be another 20 minutes of frustration. I can sense it now. Why am I doing this when I could be doing something that's fun? Huh? This isn't fun. It's irritating is what it is. break stuff.
Come on. No, I don't have the patience for this type of work. This is just... I want to start smacking things, you know, when this is what I've been trained to do. If it shows any sort of resistance, you hit it with a hammer. Hard. If that doesn't work, you burn it. And then you hit it with a hammer again, harder. <laughs> and this I kinda hit this with a hammer. <laughs> oh fuck. I don't know if I'm funny or not. I hope so. I hope so. So much heat that it melts plastic on the other side.
You just got to have patience and dedication. Roy Castle, God rest your soul. He's right about that. Dedication is what you need. should be coming loose. Go friendly. Right, we've got a small amount of success. We've got one off. I don't think we've done too much damage to it either. So. On to the next one, I guess. Having a little daub of solder certainly seems to help. What the hell is that? I seem to have picked up a big. Double solder on the actual soldering iron. 